Hey guys, it's Ellen, and today I'm going to be filming my February TBR. Um, so these are all the books that I'm hoping to get to in February. Um, there could be some changes here and there if I feel like picking up some other book, um, and that's fine with me. Um, but this is just kind of an idea of what I'm excited about reading um, in the upcoming month. There are two books that I'm currently reading right now that I want to finish in February. Uh, the first is All the Light We Cannot See, and this is by Anthony Doerr. Um, so far, I'm about about a quarter of the way through this and I love it so far. I love the language. I love just the characters. The way he sets the scene in this book is so beautiful. The story is incredibly sad. I mean it takes place during World War II and so we know that that's very sad. Um, but I just have been loving sitting down reading this book. It just is very much, it's the language is very relaxing and, and beautiful. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to finishing this one in the month of February. The next book that I've already started is Mistborn, The Final Empire, um, and this is by Brandon Sanderson. I'm like barely even a couple pages into this one. Um, I really do want to sit down and like get into the world of this book. Um, uh, I think the, the book explosion book of the month was this book um, in January, but I wasn't able to, I didn't get through it in January, so I'm going to be reading it in February and just sort of, you know, watching those videos late, a little bit later than the rest of everybody in booktube, <laughs> which is okay. I am actually really looking forward to getting to this book. I hear the world is fantastic and extremely epic, and um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what this one's all about. This next book is a book that I actually featured in my um, January haul, so I got this one in January off of Amazon, and it's A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to read this one. Everybody, a lot of people say that it really affected them, um, and they really connected with the plot and the characters, um, and sort of the storyline here, um, uh, about this monster that comes to this little boy's window every night and sort of just tells him stories and talks to him. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I think of this and, uh, whether I connect with it or not. The next book I want to read in February is Visitors by Orson Scott Card. And if you don't know, then um, I don't know where you've been, but I am obsessed with Pathfinder, um, that whole series, and this is the third book in the series. So I read Pathfinder last year, and I read Ruins this past month, and now I'm moving on to Visitors, which is the third book. I think there's going to be more, but I'm not sure. This is the only one, the last one that's out so far. Um, and yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see what happens. The first two were really epic, very, like detailed and like amazing. They're really good. Um, they're science fi- science fi- they're science fiction books and um, yeah so it centers around a boy named Rig um, and his friends and Rig can see the paths of everybody, all the individuals and um, living creatures that have lived throughout history um, and sort of he, he meets a couple other people who have uh, similar kinds of powers so I can't wait to see how this one turns out because the first two were really awesome. The next book I want to read is another one from my last haul and it is it, Because It Is Bitter and Because It Is My Heart um, and this is by Joyce Carol Oates. Um, it would be, it'll be the first Joyce Carol Oates book that I will have read. Um, I really wanted to start here because I've heard a lot of really great things about this book in particular um, and I feel like she's a, a writer that I will really connect with. I will really enjoy her writing style. So I will let you know what I think of this book and then whether or not I want to continue on reading a lot more of her works. The next book is sort of another science fiction-y type book and it is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. And this one, again, has gotten so much hype. People tend to love this one. Um, and I really can't wait to see what it's all about. Um, I know that it centers around this... Um, virtual reality game that um, everybody, basically everybody lives in in this society because the world has kind of, you know, gone bad and um, so they all sort of find refuge in this game um, and then I think the creator of the game is giving giving away the whole game or some portion of it um, to the winner of this one journey or this obstacle of some sort, as far as I can tell. And that sounds really awesome. It sounds like a really cool um, premise. It actually kind of reminds me of when I was in middle school, I read The Last Book in the Universe, and I can't remember the author of that book, but this kind of reminds me of that, where you, where people are in a world that's sort of gone bad and um, has deteriorated, and then people find refuge in a virtual reality. Um, so I'm definitely really interested to see where this one goes. The last book I want to get to, if I have time, is Hashtag Girlboss. Um, this is by Sophia Amoruso. 
my sister read this book and she really loved it, so I thought I would give it a shot. Um, it's nonfiction. It's about this girl who, um, or this woman who is the founder and CEO of Nasty Gal, and sort of, sort of just her success story. Um, and yeah, I'm really interested in that like girl powery kind of book. Um, I am a women's studies major, so I'm very interested in, like, feminism and, and, um, all that kind of stuff. So I can't wait to see if I like this. I think I probably will. Okay, so those are all the books that I am planning to read in February. I'm sure I will switch some in here and there. I picked out seven books, um, in this past month. I believe I got to nine books. So I might be able to do a little bit more this month, depending on how much time I have. Um, also I read some graphic novels last month, so that could have, you know, boosted up my total. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!